Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and I'm gonna, uh, I got like a few minutes before I have to go to work, or start, get, start getting ready for work. I told myself, you know what, I'm gonna take a Uber because it's barely, not even 10 o'clock, it's barely 10 o'clock and it's already in the, almost 90 degrees out here. Why is, why is summer always going on like a lion in, in, in here in California? Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this time to hopefully get my fight with, um, with Coco Leaf. So here we go. All right. Anything else around here? Ah. Let's go. Team must include the Trailblazer. All right. Well, see, uh, my, uh, my friend Reaps Gaming recommended um, <clears throat> um, these characters. I have to have a Trailblazer, so I uh, put Junie in the group. All right, let's go. Ah, it's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaroth and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. Architects built this? Hmm. Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kokolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The underworld... No. The entire planet relies on her. No forty, so no, do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No, I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without. Poverty without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist? To cover our ears instead of hearing the call? It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the death of human nature. Aside, break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch. Okay, Zila. Zila, you came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya, I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to steal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. 
just like the other one. I'm going. I mean, it's the other way around. I'm getting chapters 10 and 11 vibes now. We need you. Bellabog needs you, Bronya. You. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Rouser. <laughs> I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron. The wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew. Refused to hear. I was as you are now. I don't need this drawn out. Bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast. Unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness, Ronya. Throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Her doing her voice is doing great. Choose. I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. Those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better. I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors Double. can you just the if it's on five. in the bitter snow to prolong our Double check if it's on five, don't pull anything Even off. This Double world check if it's on five. To fall apart. We should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Okay, stop now. I, He's I, can't, I can't really see. I really don't know. Uh, no offense, kid. Is it on five? No, but I will get. I will pull it back to five. Michael, five. Oh. Okay, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not him. 
hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. Can you close the door, Maddie? Give me a second. Sorry about that. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! Understatement of the century? Okay. More than that time. Here comes the medicine. Batter up. Keep up. My tempo. Under the game. 
time for a shot. Savor the vigor of the night. How can we bring a giant like this down? I've never played the game, but it reminds me of uh, stuff from um, um, Shadow of Colossus. Himeko. It's gotta be Himeko. Himeko, it's Himeko. Hello? Can you see me? Gosh, this thing looks terrible. Himeko, you finally spared a thought for us. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, then I've been up on this thing you the time. You've got quite the trailblazing condition on your hands. So, how does that guy work? Or, importantly, how do you stop him from working? Over to you guys, I guess. Or do the cover fire? See what the boots. Oh man, here we go. The power granted by them. Okay, that reminded me a bit of a uh power surge. Sing. Why does she look like Oh man is the only hope for this world. Just as it is She looks like on a Shariac. Uh, why am I alone? Shoot. And I had not built my I had not built my travel my trailblazer. This is not good. Let's make it quick. Shoot. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. You don't know. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? 
Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors, their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. You need to come to your senses, Servo. Come? Madame Kakolia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. Fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here... Otherwise, we'll carry on a little preservation. There we go. It can't be. The will of preservation has made its choice. Nothing of the pride of this world. Nothing of the wait for its final end. Even if we are doomed to destruction, we will go bravely. Walking hand in hand into the darkness.
Celeron changes everything. Stay alert. Lock on. Please use Jenny's skill. Indestructible. Pretty good crowd today. Fire shield? Okay. Force of magma with consuming, consuming forest tags and then. Okay. Okay. I can char can change the end of creation to unleash preservation creations wrath. Right. Okay. This song's just for you. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. Okay. All right. No, it wasn't finished. Ready 
to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Oh no. Mother, did you wake up from that dream? Wow, that was a tough trailblazing expedition. Oh. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. It will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. What do you want to do now? This victory is only the beginning for Bellabuck. Yep. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. We'll have all the truth. Can I really do that? Or... Tell everyone about Mother's true motives. About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Sila. I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened? Oops, here? accidentally. They'd be devastated. Hold on, let's see what she says here. I'm telling the kids who knows a lie, but that keeps getting us to, gets them to sleep with some hope. If we can't trust the guardians, who or what can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellabok. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. That's agreeable. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. Yeah. It's logical and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do.
Maybe we could include cool stuff we did. Sorry. I'll be sure to make it up to you. <laughs> For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Seal. Please, protect this secret with me. Till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... administrative district. I need to tell Jabbar to... serve... Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you, help me out here! So I'll take Rory back with you. We'll go in and we'll pass on the message. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. That's settled then. I'll leave not to you. Stand out We're with that outfit? Keep the secret. For Brun? No. For Bellabog's sake. So, want to tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from the Nook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. And let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Charlie Moon Part 2 start. Okay. Is it reservation? Okay, I'll do that off screen. Wait, can we switch marches back? Nope, not yet. Okay. Ooh. Wait, I can get Harmony Trailblazer? Okay. You know, I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go back to her 
I'm gonna go back to destruction. Yeah, that was what I was gonna use her. I would have, I would have changed up her relic. Ah. Uh. See here, claim all. Let's edge again. Um, have you got a more saving I got? Oh, okay, I got it for two more. Base, I'm saving up for fish out. Okay. All right. You know, I have a ticket here, so I'm going to go ahead and do a warp. Okay. All right. Anyway, um, we will do the report visit. We will report the stuff to Natasha next video. See you then.